Hi, my name is Barbara. We're here at the Village on Main in Utah, and I'm going to be your swimming expert for today. Today we're going to talk about butterfly stroke breathing. To do this, you will need a swimming pool, a bathing suit, a swimming cap, and some goggles. This is one of the harder aspects of swimming, so you need to be patient while you learn. The most important thing is that your head goes in the water before your arms finish their stroke. When you start your stroke, you pull back, and when your arms are about here, you want to start to breathe. And you breathe, and then get your head down before you finish your arm stroke, just like this. Remember to keep your chin in close to your chest. Keep your gaze down at the pool, not towards the wall. If you're looking up, you're going to cause a lot of drag, and drag will hold you back and keep you from moving forward. You're always trying to move forward when you're swimming, so think about that when you're breathing. When you pull back, your chest is going to come up, but try to keep it as low as you can and look down. If you bring your chest up too high, again, it's going to cause a lot of drag and make it difficult to move forward. Another aspect to think about is the timing with your kick. When you kick, you kind of do one big kick and one little kick. You want to breathe on the bigger kick and then do a little kick right after. It's very important that you don't breathe every single stroke. You want to breathe at the least every other stroke. As you progress, you can breathe every two strokes or every three strokes. Is the least amount of breath you can do, the better. So that's how you can practice your butterfly breathing technique. 